Taurus. Hello, it's Andrea. Welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. I'm here to do your April 2021 tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's pull your overarching energy Taurus for the month. What do we have for Taurus, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Taurians. Thank you. Okay. Queen of Wands, Germany can be fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Germany, Aries for me as a reader, uh, can be you in the energy of that, and we have the world. Message for Taurus, please, angels, spirits, guides, message for Taurus. Message for Taurus for April 2021, please. Thank you. Yeah, we have opportunity. And you see that angel, it's almost kind of like they have their, un, their hands open, receiving gifts from the universe. It feels very beautiful there, Taurus. So we have those energies which feel very beautiful, very powerful. So I'm going to pull four cards. And remember, it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. Roughly works out as one card per week, though divine timing and all that, and people being at different life stages. The message remains the same, however. Then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message, and it won't resonate with everybody, like I said. Okay, we have the chariot card of victory. Seven of pentacles. Six of Wands and Judgment. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Taurus. Thank you, angels. Spirit's Guide's message for Taurus. One more shuffle. Okay, let's clarify the cards on the table, please. Angel Spirits Guides for Taurus for April 2021. I'm going to just pull these out. One, two, three, four. Bottom of the deck. Mm. We have the sun. Uh, it feels in this situation there is it feels for some of you there is some kind of action that you're taking the queen of wands is action energy now it can be a person in your life or the energy of but this isn't a somebody who is in their power who takes intuitive action they act on their instincts and that's how they stand in their power, bring success and growth into their life, fulfill their passions. And it's taking action towards completing something and stepping through to a new phase of your life. We definitely have something ending and a rebirth energy here. Oh no, definitely this energy of considering ending something. And then we have a completion energy, um, ready to draw a line something and under something and step through to a new phase of your life. It's to do with some kind of opportunity coming your way. I could read this in terms of love, romance, relationships. I could read this in terms of money career as well Taurus so take what resonates for you but there's definitely some kind of opportunity coming your way the world card is is worldly success in terms of material success um, 
can be offered by somebody, a leader, uh, somebody who is magnetic in their power, confident, assertive, you know, somebody who understands how to get what they want, you know, it's that kind of energy. So there could be a leader who is bringing some kind of success. This can be goal achievement as well. It feels for some of you that you're considering ending something. Now that could be you're considering ending your career. There could be some opportunity coming your way where you're considering moving jobs. Um, it feels that's resonating more. It does. It feels it's resonating more. Yeah, we have the chariot and the hanged man. So getting a new perspective, new illumination in how you move forward to success, to bring success into your life. I mean, this can be a card of waiting for the victory to happen, you know. But the hanged man is illuminating energy. It's a card of new perspectives. It feels like you're wondering how to take action. Because, to, and it feels like to bring success or greater success and achievement in your life. It can also be about waiting for something, waiting for something, but it feels in this situation you're just give it your, you're getting that clarity or you're trying to separate out how you want to move forward, where you want to align to now. And it feel it feels more to do with money, career, finances. I have to say, because for some of you that with the seven of, of pentacles, it, it feels more frustration energy, with it being this Saturnian energy, um, Saturn in Taurus. So there's definitely this energy of you're being tested. It feels to do with money, career, finances more, I have to say, Taurus. The death card is considering you've been putting so much energy and effort into a specific occupation or career path, and you're not really getting the reward of your effort. You know, this is somebody who is taking stock and considering to end something, considering saying I'm ready to be done with this and I'm ready to embrace new possibilities. The death card is the phoenix rising, shedding an old skin out with the old and with the new. So I'm definitely getting this energy here, Taurus. It feels that you're giving some deep consideration or thought in how you're going to take action to bring some kind of success into your life and victory. It feels that there's some frustration to do with money, career, finances not being paid enough. And again, the message is there is opportunity here that is going to bring, and it feels in this situation, worldly success, goal achievement, ready to step from one phase of your life to another because a cycle is completing. You're considering bringing something to an end here and embrace new possibilities. And it might well be either this is you making, taking action, calculated decisions, choices, or it can be somebody offering you opportunity, a leader, male or female because there is definitely an energy of a significant achievement here and it feels like in a new place. I get this new place energy. Now, it might well be for some of you, you're setting up your own business partnership or it might well be also that this is the beginnings of success, uh, working as a team for an organisation. But the Six of Wands is the victory that you've been waiting for. This is a victory, but this is a stalling energy of being in limbo, but trying to get that perspective in how you really want to move forward. And then definitely this energy of, I, I really need to think about what I really put my time and energy into because certain things are just not working. I'm not getting to where I want. I, I'm not getting the money I want. I'm not getting the recognition I want. I'm not getting the value I want in my life. And it feels material. It feels more material. And the Six of Wands is the, the achievement, being recognised, getting recognised as well, noticed, giving some significant achievement, the first signs of success. And this is building something stable for the long term, you know, it feels very beautiful.
Yeah, the Judgment card. It feels in this situation, Taurus, it's a card of stepping into your light. You know, it is an awakening energy. Releasing the old, stepping into your light. This is rebirth, and I'm, I'm definitely getting this rebirth energy with you. There's a feeling of emerging, emerging to what you're really capable of, and then there's this rebirth energy with this new thing that's coming in your life. I'm definitely getting this because the Knight of Cups, it feels, I mean, the Knight of Cups can be an offer, an opportunity. Now, yes, this can be in love. Um, this can be something very much connected to your heart as well. So something that brings you joy. But I also see this as you being happy again, having gone through some frustrating, en uh, frustrating energy period of limbo waiting it, it might well be you've been waiting for some kind of goal or promotion or uh, more money to come your way you know around March April is appraisal time isn't it so for some of you that might resonate and it just feels for some of you that there's just frustration of it not coming of the success the achievement not coming and you doing something about it for that reason because the Sun card is a card of success. Uh, it is a card of stepping into your light as well. So big energies of stepping into your light. It's also an awakening energy as well. Powerful awakening. Uh, this is what I'm capable of. This is what I want. This is that I know how to get it. You know, it's a card of abundance, good news, celebration, joy, happiness. So I'm definitely getting this rebirth energy as getting on the path that you want to be on, you know, feeling the beauty of life again, feeling the joy of life again, having gone through some frustrating time, and that's more what I'm feeling for you. Yeah, it feels very beautiful. I have cards of success here. Yeah. It feels something's disappointing you or frustrating you. Because what you've been going for doesn't seem to be happening. I mean, some of you might have been going, like I said, for promotions or opportunities. And for whatever reason, it just didn't seem to be happening. So it's forced you to have some kind of rethink in terms of your money, career, finances, um, path. And it feels for some of you, there is some kind of new opportunity open to you. Stepping through to the next phase, next level. Now, it might well be you're recognised within the current place that you have. You've been waiting for it and you've been waiting for that next step up. But it also feels for some of you, you might be going somewhere new as well. So whatever resonates for you, the three of pentacles is manifesting a new level or new place energy. Yeah. OK, so very beautiful, Taurus, but good news, celebration, happiness, joy, feeling good, feeling good with that Knight of Cups. There's change and it, it just feels like a happy change that's making you feel good. This kind of rebirth energy. Finally, you know, I am where I want to be, you know, I'm where I want to be. OK, final message for Taurus, please. Final message for Taurus. Thank you. Final message for our lovely Torians. Thank you. It feels like you've been waiting for someone to recognize you as well. For some of you, there could be some recognition involved in this. We have Dolphin Atlantis. Healing wisdom is surfacing. Stop and listen. Yeah. Again, it just feels for some of you, there's a, there's a feeling of, of waiting for that goal, you know? Yeah, but we have Honeybee, Divine Feminine, you are being called on to rise. So you are rising. And that could be in the form of status, title changes, um, role, responsibility, getting more money. I feel that rise is a physical rise. I definitely get this kind of energy of a physical rise happening here, Taurus. So I hope you enjoyed the re reading even. <laughs> if you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful, a wonderful month for you all and feels like a promotional energy, but either in a current place or somewhere new. 
and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.